So a while back I built this 4Runner for my fiance. Now I did a lot to it, but there's one thing I kind of skipped out on is the rear end. Now I did go through and I did Raptor line this rear bumper, which I think looks a lot better than the factory chrome, but I'm still not a huge fan of the bumper and I'm really, really not a huge fan of this receiver hitch back here. So what we're gonna do today is fix that. We are going to build a rear bumper for this thing and we are going to take this factory hitch off and we're gonna build our own. Now it's a little more high clearance out of the way and looks a lot better. So I'm hoping to keep the spare tire in the factory location. That's not something I really wanna screw around with. So I'm going to rip this bumper off, rip the hitch off and get to work designing a bumper. What I usually do is just get some cardboard out. I mock up the bumper with cardboard and and just get a really good general idea of what I want to do as far as the design and then I'll cut everything out of steel from there. Now that I have the plasma table, this job should go a lot faster and a lot easier and it'll be a lot more fun. It's gonna be so much easier just to throw everything on the table, cut it out and we don't have to mess with a whole lot. We don't have to do a whole lot of grinding and fitting that way. All right, we got this kind of main section of the bumper mocked up out of cardboard. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, why don't you just cut this on your plasma table? You bought this fancy plasma table to cut this metal. Now, that thing only cuts uh, 48 inches and the width of this bumper is around 52, I believe. So it's a little bit too wide. Now I could try to index the cut where you cut basically half of the bumper and then you'd move it, line everything back up, make sure it's 100% straight and then cut the other half. Now I prefer to just cut these by hand with the Evolution saw. It cuts really straight and if you just clamp down a little guide piece of steel to run the saw along the side of, you get a really, really nice cut. So for these bigger straight cuts, I'm not too worried about it. Now obviously if it did fit on the plasma table, it would be a lot easier and faster to do it that way, but because it doesn't fit, we're just gonna cut the stuff by hand, these main pieces, everything else is gonna be cut on the plasma. Now this bumper has been a little bit tricky to fit. I don't want to move the spare tire. I wanna leave that in the factory location and I wanna integrate a hitch. Now the spare tire hangs out pretty far out the back. So I have limited room for a hitch. So it's gonna get a little bit tricky trying to fit a hitch on this rear bumper. I think I have a plan for that. So once we get the main part of the bumper kind of mapped out and cut, mounted on the vehicle, then we can kind of figure out what we're doing to fit a hitch on it.
that we got this bumper together, I am absolutely loving it. It's looking so good. But one thing I want to do before we fully weld in these sides, these are hot rolled steel. So these have mill scale on. The rest of it is uh, cold rolled or I think it's pickled and oiled, but there's no mill scale on that. So what I'm going to do is take that side back apart and I got the other pieces cut right there and down there. That's all, like I said, hot rolled steel. So I wanna strip that mill scale. One thing I found that works amazing and isn't bad for you to breathe, it's, you know, it's food grade. This is citric acid. You just soak this overnight and it eats that mill scale right off. Like I said, it's food grade. So you can, I mean, you you can eat this stuff. So it's not bad for you like the uh, muratic acid that a lot of people use. So I got this bin here. I'm just gonna fill it up with some water get these things soaking overnight because it is the end of the day anyway. So in the morning, those things should be ready to go. The mill scale falls right off. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull the bumper off and we gotta get the hitch cut in. I got a little hitch there. We gotta cut our hole for that and then do some more bracing underneath for that hitch. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, new to my bumper builds, I do sell plans for these bumpers. All my bumpers I build, I sell plans for. Now I am gonna start offering the digital file like the DXF file if you guys got a plasma cutter you can cut them out on that if you don't have it and you want to cut it by hand i draw it out on a big sheet of paper and it's very very easy it's like stencils you just trace it onto your steel and you cut it out it makes it super super easy you don't have to measure anything all you do is just cut. So if you guys like this rear bumper, want to check it out, head over to avrcustoms.com. I got all my bumper plans up on the website. So go check them out, avrcustoms.com.
So you might be wondering why I have my hand torch on the machine here. I, I don't know, something is wrong with that torch. I could not get it to cut through half inch plate. Uh, as soon as I put the hand torch on, it started cutting through. So these are all my pierces trying to pierce through it. And I even started right here at the edge and you can see it's, uh, I'd flip it over. It still didn't cut through. And then I threw the hand torch on there and there and it cut just fine. So. I don't know, something is up with that torch. I tried a few different consumables, nothing helped it. So I guess for a thicker plate, we'll have to use this one. I am in contact with Plasmadyne and hopefully we can get this resolved. But we got some hooks here. These are actually going to go, oh, I got it all braced up, but we're gonna tie that into the mount. So we're gonna cut a half inch strip out of this bumper here, stick them through the bumper. And these are gonna kind of go kind of through the bumper right there and actually weld into the mount. So that's gonna be an extremely strong recovery point mounted into the actual mount, which is directly bolted to the frame. So obviously it's gonna be welded inside and on the outside. It's gonna be very sturdy, but here's a little look at what we got. So we are fully welded on this backside. I did put an extra 3 16 plate here tied into the hitch, kind of just to stiffen up everything right here around the hitch and for the chains, that's gonna be a little bit stronger there. So got the that got some gussets in it so we are ready to go we need to get the 400 back in here and finish out these sides weld that all on and then grind all those i just wanted to get back here get all this hitch figured out and get everything fully welded in back here We got this bumper complete and ready to weld. Now, if you've ever built a bumper or built anything and when you're done welding it, you go to put it on, go to install it, and it's completely warped out of whack, then you'll appreciate my bracing job. Now, I've built a lot of bumpers and when I first started building these things, I did warp just about every one. And then you had to go through and try to straighten it all out. Now, I've just learned to take welding these bumpers very, very slow. I'll do like two or three, three inch welds at a time completely let that bumper cool back down and then move along with more welds. It does take a lot more time to weld, but you end up with a nice straight bumper at the end and you don't have to worry about trying to straighten it out just to get it to fit. So we got this thing braced up. The majority of this bumper is welded. All the internal gussets and mounts, everything like that is welded. We really just need to finish welding the sides and then grind all that smooth and we'll be done.
Well, the bumper is back on the 4Runner after welding and it's always a good day when you can put it on and it just fits like it did before you welded it. So this thing didn't move at all from welding. Usually they move a little bit, but with all the bracing I did, this thing stayed put and it is so nice when it doesn't move. You just bolt it on and we're done. So I'm gonna cut this one here. I need to go get these plans ready to go. Like I said, these plans are gonna be up on the website by the time this video is out. We are gonna tackle the paint in the next video. So that is the next thing we gotta tackle. We gotta paint this bumper, get it back on, and it should look a lot better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.